Pilot training today is increasingly complex, involving multiple tasks and intercommunication in collaborative, high-stakes situations. Performing close air support missions in conjunction with airborne and ground-based command and control entities is not only dangerous and physically demanding, it requires coordination, concentration and precision from all players. Learning to do this in a joint service, net-centric environment is challenging enough, and complicating it further is the evolution of simulator-based training, increasingly expensive and largely restricted by location and range. The result is that despite advancing technologies, quality of training currently faces very real limitations. To address these myriad challenges, stakeholders require a cost-effective, immersive solution, one that leverages modern network capabilities, increases quality of training, and enables pilots and other players to train the way they fight. That solution is LVC, developed by Rockwell Collins and the University of Iowa. The relatively new model of live virtual constructive is live because it involves a real airplane, virtual referring to high-fidelity simulators, and constructive to describe the game-like environment in which these components interact. By combining the best of both worlds, LVC allows training for every pilot, any time and any place. Currently, training takes place at dedicated training centers and ranges, leaving deployed aircrew without access to quality training. LVC solves this problem of access by taking the training to the aircraft, using sensors on board to measure aircraft state and facilitate a simulated training mission in the cockpit. The University of Iowa Operator Performance Laboratory developed an LVC research platform to formally study the technology and human factors associated with LVC. This flying flight simulator enables pilots to visualize training scenarios anywhere in the world and interact via data link in a joint exercise involving multiple players and airborne and ground-based assets. LVC uses emerging network-centric technologies to better prepare pilots and other fire support team members for the missions of tomorrow's world and reduces cost to the training community by increasing flexibility and making better usage of existing infrastructure. The following demonstration will show how LVC takes flight training to a new level, better preparing new crews with theater operations before they're deployed facilitating more realistic scenarios while circumventing the logistical challenges of coordinating multiple airborne assets and leveraging secure operational data links to seamlessly integrate real and virtual assets. The training sortie starts with a detailed mission briefing where instructors and students identify training goals and how to achieve them. Discussion covers everything from flight regulations and flight safety to coordination and communications and emergency procedures. The briefing also outlines the virtual scenario, including deployment of weapons, target area, and interaction with both real and virtual entities. Post-briefing, the crews prepare for flight. Aircraft computers come online and systems are checked to ensure integrity of the training network. At the C2 Command Center, key players have specialized tasks for the mission. After a coordinated startup, final checks and systems clear, the plane taxis in the command center prepares for takeoff. The aircraft makes its way to the cap location where the crew will await their assignment. The training crew orbits in a designated area south of Iowa City, Iowa, but occupies a virtual airspace northwest of Solvang, California, where the ground-based simulator pilot joins them. The C-2 Command Center monitors the formation as the action begins. Hawk Flight receives instructions from a C-2 controller, playing the role of JTAC, who gives an encrypted briefing of targets to attack. The crew will perform close air support to a team of soldiers who have come under fire from an advancing column of enemy armor. JTAC gives Hawk Flight a time on target and the green light to execute their mission. As the Hawk Flight approaches the initial point, or IP, the JTAC has visual on both the enemy and the inbound Hawks. He clears them in hot and designates the target. In concert, the Hawks release their simulated weapons onto the virtual enemy forces. On a back channel, the safety pilot and the RSO discuss the next sequence. Various service channels on the data link allow the command center to configure the live aircraft for additional tasks so the student can focus on tactically important features rather than on simulator maintenance tasks. Next, the Hawks take care of their secondary targets. Talk-on procedure is cognitively demanding and requires considerable training. 
LVC enables the distributed team members to practice this difficult skill without the need for a target range. With the mission accomplished, the Hawks are sent back to CAP to hold. From there, Hawk 1 returns to its home base to land. Throughout the mission, the Datalink provides ground instructors with real-time performance data from the pilot of Hawk 1, and additional high-resolution performance data is extracted after landing for analysis with LVC tools. The sortie wraps with a detailed debriefing to ensure that training translates to learning through detailed knowledge of results. Live Virtual Constructive is still an emerging training platform. LVC's inherent flexibility and scalability allow for newer technologies coming online that will facilitate continually higher fidelity virtualization for live pilots. As Datalink technology evolves, there will be challenges to address with regards to bandwidth and security, and Rockwell Collins is uniquely positioned to address this. In addition, while LVC allows for range-independent operation, it still allows for integration with range hardware. Finally, additional research and development in the areas of system integration and pilot perspective will facilitate the transition of LVC into the training community. To learn more about LVC online, visit ccad.uiowa.edu/opl.